drought is like a predator, slowly stalking its prey. Drought doesn't strike like an African thunderstorm. It stalks its victims slowly, one after the other. The first victim is the crop farmer, whose young seedlings are green on the land, soft and tender, but quickly wilt under the scorching sun, dying away to nothingness. You in the city cursing and complaining because water shortages has hinder you from keeping your manicured lawn green. Have you seen the heart of a farmer, on his knees, on a wasteland with only dust in his hands, a windmill complaining above a barren borehole? What would you do? The second victim is the livestock farmer, tears eroding the dusty cheeks as he watches trucks taking his pregnant herd to the abattoir. Because in the drought, there's no more fodder, nor buyers left. And you, in the city, cursing and complaining because water shortages hinder you from washing your car or filling your swimming pool. Have you ever witnessed a mental struggle of a farmer who has to slit the throat of a newborn calf with his pocket knife because there's no more grass to raise his herds on? What would you do? The last victims are the input suppliers, the farm workers, the consumer, and eventually the economy. You, the government who cannot afford to help farmers financially and who lack the competency to address the loss of income because of the drought, or the lack of support for families, or the problem of people who cannot survive. What will you do? I will help by donating.